Hello and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much everyone for tuning in. Uh, this is going to be a special reading entitled What Would Have Happened Had You Stayed Together? Uh, and this is obviously going to be referring to someone you were once connected with and especially if you have some like nostalgic feelings around this person or you sort of wonder where your future could have gone, where things could have went had you stayed together. Um, this reading could hopefully give you a bit of an insight um, into what you could have expected or what could have happened and you know it may bring up some certain feelings so I just want you to keep that in mind and obviously if you're not ready to watch this or you're not interested um, there are other readings up on the channel um, for you um, but it is going to be looking um, at sort of a future of what you could have had with this person um, and it is going to be for air signs so Gemini Libra Aquarius uh, as a collective um, so hopefully there's something here that uh, is going to be very telling for you. Um, I am using a new deck here. It's called Soul Cards. I'm going to link uh, link you to the website of where you can purchase this deck. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, and we're going to be using a Rider Waite deck as well. So um, I did give the cards a good shuffle off camera, but we'll give them another um, another good shuffle here as well and see what could have happened had you stay together with this person, whoever this is, an ex, a spouse, someone you sort of maybe briefly knew, um, air signs. Let's see what could have happened between you and them. Okay, the Hermit, but it's reversed. We've got the Strength card also reversed. We've got the Chariot. Okay, and the Lovers. This is very powerful. Okay, so straight away I feel... Straight away I feel like um, I'm picking up the Virgo here. We've got uh, Leo with the Strength card. We've got the Gemini and the Chariot, so it can be a Cancer. And we have Libra down here. Um, okay, so it could be one of these signs that you've dealt with and this person has come up very strongly. So this reading could be very much catered to um, what's coming up, okay? What's coming up here um, between the both of you. We've got the Lovers card around this connection here, which would indicate there is something around a marriage. Um, the lovers is, is a beautiful relationship that stands the test of time and it's it's a soulmate twin flame energy. So the cards are trying to tell us here that this person could have been someone you would have married or someone that you would have remarried. Um, the justice card is reversed so there may have been some sort of complications before. You might have some like um, this could be like you almost got married or you, you almost had something like this. Um, that's what the justice card could represent when it's reversed. Okay so so it could indicate something that you sort of discussed that might have been official. Um, you would have turned that around. Okay, so if this is like you didn't move in together, you would have done that. Um, if you didn't want to get married or this person didn't want to get remarried, um, there's potential that that would have happened again. Um, and this is really powerful. Okay, Justice card can point to a, a karmic connection. Um, so this is really beautiful. It's very powerful here. Um, had you stayed together, your communication would have improved. Um, the Hermit is upside down. Now, this is a card of solitude. Um, the person who's alone. You've come up as the Queen of Swords, however you identify. Um, but seeing these two cards here, the Hermit and the Queen of Swords, it makes me feel like um, this is a relationship that would have taken you to old age, or this is a relationship that you wouldn't have been single after. This is really powerful, okay? Because the Hermit upright, it, you know, it is a card of like solitude, of being alone, of being independent, autonomous. And like when I see this come up in the cards, it makes me think that it's a it's a card of being single, but it's reversed. So straight away I feel like um straight away I feel like this is a relationship that could have been yes, it could have made you very happy because you're coming up as the Queen of Swords, not like say the Eight of Swords. You know, there's no worry. So this person could have made you feel very good about yourself, um, very confident, okay, very trusted, um, or trusting. Uh 
the burdens, the burdens would have lifted. You would have been able to talk it out. Okay, the lovers and the queen of swords. This has lots to do with communication. So I felt like you would have been able to forgive or move forward, especially if you were having a bit of issues. Um, I really feel like that would have settled. Okay, because you've got the chariot. Um, the chariot is a beautiful card of success and overcoming obstacles. So whatever this is, whatever sort of, um, uh, whatever, Whatever things, issues that were troubling you, it would have indicated that you would have overturned these issues. You know, we see the wheel. It could be like a wheel of fortune coming up here, which could point to fate, um, a fated, destined connection. And this is really powerful. I mean, the chariot is like you're proving, you'd prove other people wrong, okay? Especially if there were other people that didn't support this connection. Like you had parents that disapproved or you had friends that were like, oh, no, don't see this guy. He's bad for you or, oh, is she doing this again? You know, it's, you would have like proven them wrong. And, you know, it makes me think of that song by, is it Shania Twain? It's like, um, looks like we made it. Look how far we've come. Um, you know, and, and it seems about like people, um, you know, you showed them wrong, like you proved the people wrong. They didn't think you'd make it type thing. And the chariot would indicate to me that you in fact would have made it with this person and you would have proven some people, um, some big things here. The chariot is also very, um, it's a card of cancer energy and cancer is a very attached energy, especially emotionally speaking. It's also a card of the mother, so emotional security. You would have um, had more emotional security with this person had you stayed together. It might have been one of the obstacles you had to work through, uh, but ultimately it's showing that you would have um, you would have done it, but you would have done it together. The strength card is reversed here, so it makes me think there might be some ego that would have continued to occur in the relationship. Um, But, you know, I think I think you would have had potentially some issues with consistency. And I say that because the Queen of, uh, queen of um, Pentacles, the Earth Queen, is reversed. So that makes me think there could have been some, um, some, some obstacles here uh, for the both of you in, in regards to that. But ultimately, you know, you've got some powerful major arcana cards that have come up next to this reading. Um, maybe there's something that's still incomplete between this person. Is there a chance to make it right? I think there is. It may be that you will be the one to make that happen. Um, it's going to be either you that could initiate this. Um, because the reason I say that is because the justice card is reversed, which would indicate there's not a solid outcome. So it makes me think that there's... For some of you, especially if you're wanting hope in this connection, this could be the ray of hope that you're seeing here. Um, the outcome, the decision, it hasn't been made. It hasn't been finalized, which means things still stand. It's incomplete because it's reversed. So um, food for thought there for, for, for that one um, with the justice card uh, coming up reversed. But overall, I feel... I feel like the lovers, you would have had a very beautiful relationship together. You would have connected very powerfully. And I feel like you would have been, your emotions towards each other would have allowed you to work through whatever it is you would have worked through. Um, ultimately, your communication would have improved. You know, the lovers can be a card of um, conception as well. Um you know, we almost see this like fertile symbol here. So I'm so I'm wondering with the lover's card if there was a, a possibility to have a child here uh, or conceive of something, okay? Uh, con uh, conceiving, adopting, um, that might have been very likely uh, between the both of you. So re really powerful stuff here. Uh, but I'll leave the reading at that. I do hope it's been insightful. Um, feel free to check out uh, the videos for your sign, for anyone cross-watching for your sun, moon, rising, Venus. It could be helpful as well. Um, otherwise, thank you so much, everyone, for your support. Really do appreciate you joining me on this um, channel. Otherwise, all the best, and hopefully we shall be in touch very, very soon. Um, oh, and just a reminder, please don't forget to like um, this video and, of course, subscribe to the channel uh, to get updates for readings for your signs. So um, take care, everyone. I hope you're all keeping well, um, and... I hope you've enjoyed this. So bye everyone. Thank you again.